Oh, well, hello, this is... Yes, we are online. This is Demonism Total Nerdy Channel, and we are back into StarMade for another fleet <laughs> review. Yes, uh, we should totally be finishing off this fleet reviews pretty soonish. Um, I won't do them all, I would only do some that I like. This, anyways, is Jay Zimmerman. Uh, Jay Zimmerman f 4. Fleet Submission 2. Yes. Um, so, the user is Jay Zimmerman 4, and this is uh, uh, that person's second fleet submission. And uh, here we can see we are at the smallest vessel of them all, which is a fighter, I suppose. Um, I will. I mean. Yes, definitely. So, how fast is this? Um, 85 top speed. Uh, so, it's not very fast. Anyways, um, here is the vessel, and here we have turrets, I believe. Well, anyways, it's a pretty cool design. You know, this fleet has a really nice designing of uh, bringing that evilness into the design. And it even has little transporter, isn't that cute? And a Bobby AI. Oh well. Um, I believe this is probably a fighter vessel. We also have a <laughs> horrid camera with basically no view, but uh, well, it serves its purpose. What do we have for system? We have a radar jammer, attack formation, okay. I suppose this was not turrets. Oh, I see. Here we have attack formation. Well, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, it looks super cool. We just shift out here and uh, align ourselves up. And this fleet has a really cool evil design, as I mentioned. It also features um, only vertical vessels, which is pretty cool. So we also have a radar jammer. Unfortunately, the author did not check that it can actually run the radar jammer because it can't uh, the energy supply on this vessel is too little to even run the radar jammer so that's something that really should have been checked oh well let's check this arms here um, these arms well they're not uh, really turrets they are docked onto this entity here um, but let's go here. There are damage beam turrets, constant damage with 32 each. Um, of course, they don't have a camera, but uh, if we just zoom out and fire here, you can see they are basically, you know, uh, just a continuously fire little gun here. Um, in functionality, I'm not sure how great of an idea this is, because uh, the AI won't determine when it's a good idea to mm, point the weapons forward. So I guess this fighter is actually uh, combat-wise pretty useless. But well, well, it looks cool. Okay, next in size here, I sorted them by mass, it's this one, and here we have it, oh, no, that's wrong, I see, oh well, okay, here, ah, this is the next vessel of, uh, well, the next size of a vessel and now this even has a little ooh that seems like automatic opening doors which is pretty nice oh it seems like an automated airlock that's cool 
So we have a airlock connection on both sides of the vessel. And I think this is the back side of the vessel, but I can't be entirely sure. Maybe I need to... Do I have... Whoops. No. Sometimes you have to turn the bloom on. Whoops. No, it's on. Off. But it looks better with the bloom off, I think. <laughs> oh well, anyways. Uh, how fast is this vessel then? Also, maybe we should go in and check if we can... No, we can't. Oh well. Now, how fast is this vessel? Pretty slow, 64. So this is a real sluggish little vessel. It however has a pretty big damage beam of 400 blocks. Um, that's overdrive and a minuscule support from one block of another damage beam computer. I'm almost thinking this is some error in setup again, but maybe not. Well, it seems to be pretty cool. It seems to deal some good damage. Can we run a radar jammer? Yes, this vessel can run a radar jammer, so that's nice. Okay, and here we have the cockpit area, which is, uh, you know, when you have a little... It really brings some depth. And then we have the computers surrounding around here, which is very nice. Um, indeed. We have a jump to watch. We don't have a jump drive, but there is a jump drive computer here, so I guess it could be connected up. Uh, we have a transporter, that is good. And the airlocks, whoa no, seem to be working pretty greatly. But probably we seen that ship uh, anyways, so we can move on to the next ship. I mean, this is some real nice evil designing, I must say. Um, this vessel look real badass and kind of, I don't know, evil looking. And that's very cool. I think that Jay Zimmerman has made a real good job in, you know, texturing and uh, covering the shapes like this. You can see all the gorgeous details and also this wings here. It's a great modeling job. Um, this is a bit faster. This vessel, which I think is a battle unit, yes. <laughs> They all seem to be beam based. Uh, and this also has some nice uh, interiors. It's possible that this is more of a drone ship, but uh, oh well. Uh, this seems to be a stronger system with overdrive beams, uh, so that's cool. We have automatic uh, airlocks as well with some interesting setup here okay um, interior computers and also a little transporter yes we should totally get out of this area here can I activate this yes well if we walk around here you can see um, there is a pretty good view of the battlefield here. Um, it's, I'd say this is a pretty well done ship. Uh, interiors. Well done interiors. We actually need our flashlight, I believe. Um, I accidentally dropped down. I don't know if there is a sophisticated way to go down here. If you should go down here, 
that I don't know. Well, there is some open space here. Probably this could be used for some bunks or something as well, maybe. But currently it seems to be more of a... for the looks. Ooh, even some medical cabinets. Well... Okay, oh, yes. Getting inside this vessel anyways. We can run the radar jammer. We also have a ion effect of 24%, so we have some shield protection. That's very cool. I think we'll need to turn off that radar jammer. Um, oh, well. We have a jump drive of the size of 700. I think it's sufficient for this uh, size of the vessel. How big is this anyways? 22,000 blocks. And we don't have any dock thrusters, but a vessel this size should probably have some turrets. Uh, well, not necessarily, and I think this does not have any turrets. This thing here is really cool. It looks like a broken crystal thing that I guess charges this thing. But the fact that it's broken and glowing in uh, random places make it look real alive and real ancient technology thing. It's just hovering and sitting there. It looks... Yeah, it looks very alien. Evil and alien. Well, this all is very cool. Um, we have a not-so-slow beam. Whoops. I think the new explosive implementation is making it lag a little bit, maybe. But it does deal some good damage here. I'd say this is a pretty, pretty neat little vessel. Not super powerful, but uh, well, maybe it's for the better because if they are super powerful, um, you won't be able to survive in the Star Mid universe. Oh well, let's move on to the last and biggest vessel in this little series. This one uses the same type of enormous crystal in there. Looks very cool. It actually looks like you have taken this ship and then almost put another wing on. So it has two wings in a way. Bad explanation. But I think you get a point. They look very in the same fleet. And this gorgeous shapings here and also the eyes with some red glowing through makes it all look very alive and that there are some trapped energy almost inside this vessel. Oh yes, this texture is really nice looking. Now. Here we have, oh, that's a pretty rigorous th thing that's maybe there for, well. Anyways, we have some Amos turrets here, and that seems to be what is in turret way here. Accidentally some came off, I don't know why, but let me just check that we don't have Oh, we can actually inherit thrusters from docks. Um, I guess it's the turrets in that case. If we check some stats here, we can see that this is a 40,000 block ship. Uh, top speed is 100, so it's actually not so sluggish for being a ship this size. That's cool. So if we go in here, we have an automatic airlock, which is really nice. We also have a quite spacious interior with a elevator, maybe? It looks like an elevator. And we also have a little... Oh! I think we have some cool rail things going on here. 
maybe. I don't know if it's working because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but well, the interior looks very nice. Let's check the systems here. We have a 750 jump inhibitor. Whoops. That totally dehydrates our jump drive. Also, but oh well. It's really nice that you can uh, force other vessels to not be able to jump from you. We have two damage beams, one with... what is this now? Ion, yes. We have an ion beam and then a overdrive beam. Now I want to see how the outputs look for this ones. Cool. I think it look cool. And the sizes of these are not huge, but okay. Considering that this ship is so much larger, I would have expected something a little bit more powerful, I guess. But oh well, you can at least strip away some good of the shields, but... Uh, well, it's not uh, without fangs. But I think this ship has some really heavy armor values. That probably will save them in most situations. Well, anyways, it's very evil having a jump inhibitor. So here is uh, some, you know, there is no scanner connected. I didn't see that. Like all these ships should probably actually have scanners, but it's kind of very important in a combat situations to have a scanner but so that you can destroy the enemy's uh, lock on with your missiles um well where about ooh that's really cool i'm not entirely we have some Med bay compartment here, maybe. Interesting. Is this some kind of healing sleeping cell or something? Oh, it's it's probably some kind of advanced alien bunk, I guess. Uh, so there are four pods behind these things and you click this button and then you can reach more pods here so all in all it's uh, eight pods that's really cool i never expected that and here we have a transporter as well well this is clearly a very cool science fiction solution of having uh, compact access to space banks I'm not entirely sure what this button does, but there were no connected up things inside, so I guess it doesn't do very much, maybe. But well, if there were, there should be an inner ship remote connected. But maybe I missed some cool detail now. We can make a quick check. You like this zoom in here we can see all the big parts seem to be of the same entity so i guess there is nothing big happening well oh whoops um so that's basically jay zimmerman force second yes no i hate steam overlay uh, that I, sh I haven't disabled it yet. Uh, well, second fleet submission. So I hope you have enjoyed this little video and I will be catch you in future videos. Jim and Total Nerd Channel, signing out.